And now we're going to go ahead and show you how to create a dynamic alert from a saved custom scan. So notice I have loaded one of my saved scans here. It's a template. That's the name of it anyway. And there's really not a whole lot to it. It's going to return a list of 474 stocks. And so I'm going to show you step by step now how to take this saved custom scan and generate a dynamic alert from this. Now, what is a dynamic alert exactly? A dynamic alert is something that runs on the server of Thinkorswim. So let's say you wanted to receive notifications via a text message or email or through the mobile application. They call them push notifications. And you wanted those to occur during the day when you're not at the computer and you're not even logged into Thinkorswim. How can you do that? Well, you've got study alerts. Okay, you can do that with a study alert. The problem with a study alert is it doesn't allow recursive variables in the code. So if you have a custom study filter that has some recursive variables in there, like an ATR trailing stop, for instance, then you won't be able to use a study alert. So the only other way to get text message, email, or mobile push notifications from the Thinkorswim platform is to create and save a custom scan and then use that saved custom scan to create a dynamic alert. And here are the steps. We have a little hamburger menu over here just below the green scan button. Remember, now we've got a save as watch list, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to alert when scan. Now you can't see the rest of this it's kind of off screen here. Let me move this over just a little bit so you can see this. Alert when scan results change. Okay, so I'm going to move that back over so we've got a view of the full screen. And then we're going to select that alert when scan results change. Now I wish that you could, you know, resize this window so you can see every element in the window. You can't, it's kind of annoying, but uh, we'll just kind of deal with it anyway. So you've got lots of different choices here. Notify me on change of scan results. So what's going to happen is when you create this alert, it's going to actually run the scan in real time continuously on the Thinkorswim servers, regardless of whether you are logged in or not. Okay, so the name of the scan is included here. You have an event, okay, uh, when a symbol is added or when a symbol is removed or a symbol is added or removed. So any change. So you get to select there depending on what you want. Now you're going to have to go ahead and practice this and experiment on your own to find out what works for you. And we've got an edit screen here so we can actually edit uh, some of the aspects of the scan. That's interesting. But if we've already saved the custom scan, we don't need to worry about that. You can add notes here that will be included in the notification. Let's go ahead and expand this section here. Notify with sound comma email. So we're going to expand that and then scroll down to view its contents. Notice that you can select a sound or no sound. You can even select custom sounds. This is fantastic. So you can actually get those sounds while you are logged in to the platform on your computer. You will get these sounds. Or if you're not logged in, and or whether you're logged in or not actually, uh, you can send email to specified email address send text message during US market hours, send text message after US market hours, send push notifications to mobile devices. This is if you have the mobile app installed on your device and you have notifications enabled. Okay, so you check whatever box works for you. Now we're going to go ahead and collapse this section and look at the next section which are the options. That's the third and final section here for creating a dynamic alert. And we just want to go ahead and review the options. We've got a message for every change or a list of changes, hourly, daily, or weekly. You can have it expire. It defaults to not, not specified, which means it's going to exist until you cancel it manually. Or you can have it go ahead and cancel on its own at a specific date and time. And if you want a reminder before it cancels, then you can go ahead and check this box and select your option here. And when you are done making those adjustments to your settings, then you go ahead and click the Create button. There was an option there at the bottom of the screen to automatically take you to the Watch List Alerts screen so that you could view your alert. But I'll show you where to find that. So you go to Market Watch. Make sure that you select Alerts from the Views. And this one right here at the top is the one that we just created. You can see 
the context there, it shows the name of the saved scan. It shows the source of that alert, which is a scan. And it shows some of the options that you selected in the previous steps. And when you create this, then it will run continuously until you cancel it. And it will give you alerts based upon those options that you selected in the previous view. And when you're ready to cancel it and you no longer need it to run anymore, you can just simply click this do not enter sign or you can right click anywhere over it and select cancel alert. Now none of this will work unless you set things up in the application settings so that you have a validated mobile phone number and a validated email address. Okay, so in order to do that you go to setup application settings go to notifications and this is where you will go ahead and confirm your various email addresses and phone numbers and then make some selections here as far as how you want your notifications delivered so you have to do this part otherwise none of the other stuff will work in other words you've got to set everything up here before you can use the dynamic alert or the study alert okay so make sure you understand where to set things up, where to adjust your settings. It doesn't happen automatically. We can't just simply write some code to make this happen. You've got to set this up on your own, okay?